today. Um, I'm going to show you this first widget. I'm going to show you how to build a widget and to embed it to your Facebook profile. So it'll come out looking like this here. Okay, and then the next widget, uh, the next widget we're going to build is we're going to build our own custom news feed, and we're going to embed that to a regular website, to a WordPress website. So that's in the next video. But in this video, as I say, we're going to build, we're going to turn our own blog into a widget, and we're going to embed that to f a Facebook profile. So the first thing we want to do is to build these simple widgets from a feed. Um, easiest way to do this, there's a load of different widget technologies, but um, for our purposes today, what we want to use is WidgetBox because the process is really very simple. So, widgetbox.com, make, make an account, and let's go to make a widget over here. And so then we are brought to this screen here, and we're given five options. We can build from Flash, we can build from the ground up, HTML slash JavaScript. Which is a bit tricky, so we won't do that. We can build from a web page, static web page, or we can import from a Google gadget. But what we want to do is we want to import from a blog feed. So we click on blog slash feed here, and then we get we come to our own website, CMS bar in this case, and we get the link to our RSS feed. And it's this orange logo over here is what you're looking for. So you look for that. And on a WordPress, for instance, it's over here. You can see that again, it's that orange logo there. So when you've got that, you simply right-click it. And you can come down here to copy link location. I'm using Firefox um, here. For If you're using Internet Explorer, it's the same. It's worded slightly differently. You just right-click that. Look for that symbol. You right-click it. And you copy, copy target location or something. I forget what it's called. So back at Widgetbox, we paste in the um, path to our feed. We just click continue there. And then we are brought to the building screen. As you can see, Widgetbox has taken the last number of posts from our RSS feed over here. So that's the last uh, 20 posts or whatever from CMSWare. And now we can make this thing look any way we want to. We can choose a color. We can choose whatever color we want using this thing over here, the custom color uh, option. We can change its size and so forth. We can choose to display headlines and articles, which is nice. And we can also show the first image in the posts, which will add a bit of color and maybe make it a bit more eye-catching. And then we can choose whatever logo we want to brand it with. So if our logo has showed up in the RSS feed, we can just click that option there. And if it doesn't, then we can enter the direct path to our logo down in that field there. Uh, do we want this listed in the gallery? If we, if we want this listed, that means that anybody can embed this to their own website. And that's sort of the really the main reason for building these things, is so that um, other people can embed it to their website and drive traffic to your website. And we can add, a, add, cloud, uh, add tags and so forth. So when we're happy with all of that, we just go to Publish Digit over here. And then we are brought to the publishing screen, which is right here. As you can see, there is the widget in its final, uh, final form there. So we're pretty happy with that. We can change whatever way we wanted it to look there. And so at this stage, we just go to Get Widget. Now, as I say in the next video, I'll be showing you how to put these things onto a regular website, but we're going to say that we want to put this onto our Facebook profile today. So we ignore all of this stuff. Um, it's the same principle with Blogger, and if you've got a Blogger page, or a Typepad page, etc. But um, So you just click on your Facebook icon, whatever you're using. You want to log into Facebook at this stage, and come back to the screen. And then the process is as simple as this. Add, add widget, and this will bring you to Facebook. And then you can just add in a comment description. And you just have to say post down here. So it'll post to your Facebook page.
Facebook profile. And so there's the finished article right there, an embedded widget into Facebook. So as you can see, it's a five-minute process, and you know everybody really should do this because if anybody could, it could be a good uh, traffic driver for your website. So that's that. Um, stay tuned for the next uh, widget. We're going to build a news one, custom news widget. Okey doke.